two suicide uh, bombers uh, blew themselves up on Friday night. These are not live pictures, but they're very recent having uh, come in. This uh, operation was launched at about 4 a.m. local time uh, and involved over 100 police backed up by the army. The army now on the streets of Paris for the first time in living, living memory in the sense of being involved in anti-terrorist operations. You will have seen, if you've gone to Paris recently, you see police around the Eiffel Tower, around government buildings and so on. You see the army too, um, you know, w with their, uh, their heavy duty rifles. But the army this morning involved in this anti-terrorist uh, operation, but it was the police paramilitaries that took uh, the force of this. And it looks like it was successful from the French police point of view. They were very anxious. Although it was a siege situation, they were very anxious to catch and get at least one of the people they were after alive because so many of those involved on Friday night's atrocity, of course, either killed themselves or were killed by the police as they were trying to take control again. But they have now got somebody, at least one, perhaps two people involved who will now face interrogation from the French security services. These live pictures coming in from Saint-Denis in Paris with what looks like the end of the anti-terrorist operation in that particular part of Paris. Okay. Yes, well, actually, that operation which had been going on all morning does look as if it's been finished. We had reports that the officers, some of them, were taking off uh, their helmets, which looked as if they got everybody they wanted to get. There were also reports uh, they've not been confirmed, but reports this morning on France's rolling news channel that the people holed up in that apartment were planning some sort of attack on La Défense, which, as you know, is to the west, is in the business district of Paris. If that's true, of course, there will be huge relief that they caught everybody involved. Clearly a very dangerous operation, with the police themselves suffering casualties. We think no fatalities, but some police have been injured in this, and a police doctor have was killed in the attack, we're told as well.